I welcome everyone to our YouTube channel AEO Grey Organics. In this video we will see the application procedure that is step by step process for ASRB NET National Eligibility Test Subject Matter Specialist SMS and a Senior Technical Officer STO for the year 2023. Link of this uh, application is given in the description of this video so after watching this video you can click on that link do for your registration if you are new to our channel you can subscribe our channel it will be useful for all of your future aspect so this is the home page of that application so here there are five steps registration qualification details and preferences photograph and signature upload fee details next step, print application form so these are the five steps you have to be noted so before going deep into that there are certain documents that are needed to be uploaded here we will see that uh, what are the documents that are needed to be uploaded application you need several documents such as uh, name proof or your OGPA mark sheet like that but for uploading only two things you need one is the scanned copy of your recent passport size photograph it should be less than 150 KB and if you are uh, wearing spectacles you should remove that spectacle so that is the important thing here so you note that one and the background should be white background that is also you should note here next is a uh, candy cup P of a signature so it should be signed only in black or blue ink and it should be in white paper so it should be the maximum size of only 80 kb it should not be more than 80 kb so these two scanned copies should be in jpg format not the jpeg or png some other format you should take only in jpg format that is enough next uh, remaining all are the same like what we will apply for other examination such as id card that is one id photo id such as other or voter id or driving license next is a debit card credit card everything i hope you all know what will be the cost for the application so here they have given that uh, cost of application so for net sms and sto so based on your category you take the amount as per your need if you belong to sc category st category or women or pwbd category so you have to pay only for net examination that is 250 rupee so if you are woman of any category you can pay only 250 rupees and um, you can avoid all these three mm -hmm. though they have interest but some women will think why we need to waste money for just for applying but here you note that only you have to pay only 250 rupee you no need to pay any extra so that is um, you consider here this is one important good information login details so here you click on the new registration before that you can download that notification and you can go through once so you click on that new registration so if you click on that new registration you are applying for net sms and sto you have to select that one so if you are applying for net you click on net next sms and sto what are the exams you are preferring to take you apply for all so you click on that one next you can click on that submit so with regard to that submit there will be the first page this is the step one so here um, they have given some of the important instruction to the candidates for filling online application just you can go through that one if you are interested so better you go through that one so you will get some of the good ideas next here um, you are applying for which so already we have selected net sms sto like that so solution or title that means you are a doctor that is you have completed a phd or miss or missus or mister so you select that one next is what is your full name what is your father's name so here they have mentioned do not use that shri or doctor like that you mention only what is the name that is an important so next your name should be as in the matriculation or the secondary examination certificate so that is your based on your 10th standard mark sheet your name should be there for example if you are writing your initial at last then you should write your initial at last or if it is initial is first in that certificate then you should write in first so i hope all you may know about that um, how to write the names next is with regard to gender you can select email and um, confirmation of email your date of birth next is category so which category you are considering here you note down so at the time of application or selecting your category you have to indicate your cast as it is given in that certificate then you have to give that certificate number that is a cast certificate number then when that uh, certificate has been issued so next is a pwbd yes or no next is citizen of india are you from rural or urban you can select that one next is address everything is the same what we have apply for others so after that once checking all details you give the submit then you will get one message through your registered mobile id so here at the bottom there will be go to part 2 click here you click on that one this is the part 2 here you have to click for the discipline which you are going to apply so you select the discipline which you are going to apply 
then you select this uh, preferences so which center you are preferring you can give this three center preferences as per your convenience you can give that uh, centers next uh, here you have to upload all the details with regard to that matriculation next intermediate level next graduation level so you have to select the board and you have to give the class or division first or second or third so it will be mentioned in your mark sheet so you consider that one and here they have given that a date of issue of certificate or a date of passing you note that one so both will be present in some of the certificate if that is given you give that date of passing so that is important here and uh, here with regard to that masters if you have completed your masters you can give that one so if you are not in the po position of masters degree now you may indicate the probable date of passing the qualifying examination so when you will get uh, your pdc like that for example if you are um, applying in msc second year means uh, i hope uh, you will complete within this september 30 because if you complete before september 30 2023 then you are able to or then you are eligible for this net so that is one important uh, good criteria that they have fixed here next with regard to that uh, phd also if you are with this phd then you can give otherwise you cannot you no need to give that one next uh, based on that employment status all other data next with regard to that uh, you have to select the preferences for your subject that is post so based on your preference so you can give that which is needed for your first then you can give that uh, alternate rankings based on your preference so that is one important criteria here and finally you sign that uh, declaration and you fill this code and then you confirm all the details once again and you give this submit so once you click on submit you will be diverted to the next page so next page is uh, part 3 in part 3 you have to upload the details such as photograph signature and id proof in the photograph all the details what i have mentioned yearly that you should follow that it should be in jpg format and even signature also it should be in jpg format once again you note that your photo should not have any spectacles so it should be very clear that two third of the photo should be covered by your face that and all you should be very clear here next step is the payment step that is based on your uh, number of applications that is you are applying for STO, NET and SMS are only applying for NET based on that criteria you have to do the payment for the payment we should go to bharatkosh.gov.in this process is somewhat new to most of the candidates so we can see in detail how to pay this so here if you scroll down there will be non-registered users so you click on this non-registered users when we scroll down in this we can able to see depositors category in this we have to select individual next for the purpose we have to select or we have to search as agriculture this process is clearly mentioned in the annexure one you can refer annexure one also in that notification so here we have to select agriculture you should be very clear then for the purpose you give examination just to you type examination so here it will come examination or certificate fee for ers net sto f a o and a o here then scroll down and give search next we can select here as it is selected then um, we have to give this payment type so this payment type will be testing fee then ministries agriculture then pay and account office you note this triple zero double zero one pao section one next is drawing and dispersing office this krishi anushudan bhavan one next is amount so based on the total fees this is clearly mentioned in the annexer number one so here we can able to see that fees for net 2023 or fee for sms 2023 if you are applying only for that particular net or sms or sto you can enter that specific fees what they have mentioned in the first page of this notification so here for example if you are applying for this net sms and sto 2023 means then you go to this first page and here you can able to see that if you belong to unresolved category you have to pay 2000 rupee but if you are woman you have to pay only 250 rupee this is enough so next here you enter the amount that what you are going to pay now i am not going to pay so that's why i am not entering here then payment or frequency period no restriction then you give remark if you are applying for sto net and sms3 or only if you are applying for sms or net or sto you give the same what they have mentioned in this annexer number one you enter the same better you copy this fee for net 2023 sms 2023 and sto 2023 and you paste it here okay so you can paste it here and you can enter this captcha code so what do they have mentioned there you enter the same 
then your payment details will be added here then you can click on next in the next page you can enter all your details and enter the captcha code and click on save and confirm then in the next page you can do the payment through various options and payment gateways such as net banking debit card credit card and upi and you can do the payment as per our uh, normal payment then you can download that receipt this receipt is very very important and we have to enter all the payment details and we have to upload this receipt in ASRB portal and finally we can download our application if you are unable to do then you can again log in in ASRB portal with your registration number and date of birth then you can fill the necessary details and finally you can download your application you keep this application very safe it is required for further verification and at the time of interview like that so this application is very very important you store it in a safe place thank you